If overthinking, stress, or sleeplessness are becoming too much, try listening to a guided meditation for free on the Women's Meditation Network. There are a dozen podcasts that provide hundreds of guided meditations each month, like sleep meditations, morning meditations, daily affirmations, meditations for anxiety, and even water and nature sounds. Just search for Women's Meditation Network in your favorite podcast player and subscribe to listen now. This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 2059, An Easy Way to Keep Your Health Consistent, by Dr. Pete Donisopoulos of dynamicprri.com. And I'm Dr. Neil Malik, your host and narrator. Welcome back to another edition of Optimal Health Daily, where I share an article with you covering health, fitness, nutrition, and more, always with permission from the authors, and always with a bit of my commentary at the end. So for now, Let's get to today's post and start optimizing your life. An Easy Way to Keep Your Health Consistent by Dr. Pete Donisopoulos of DynamicPRRI.com Staying healthy can seem like a chore and an overwhelming task. As one say, eat this, and someone else says, don't eat that, or you need to do this exercise instead of that. Luckily, it doesn't have to be so daunting. We can focus on the main pillars of health that, if done consistently, will yield good results in the long term. As you listen, you can hear what pillars in your life need to be addressed to maximize your overall health and wellness. When looking at all the factors that can be addressed in the health space, we will stick to four of the main pillars. These will be sleep, nutrition and diet, exercise, and stress relief. Each of these influence your overall health and can have positive impacts when followed consistently and negative impacts when left by the wayside. 1. Sleep Sleep is our number one recovery tool, yet it's the first thing we let go of, despite knowing how important it is. Sufficient sleep helps our body repair, regulate, and restore function. An easy way to get back on track with sleep is to set a consistent bed and wake time. By waking and sleeping consistently, we can start to regulate our body's natural clock and create a more efficient routine to restore the body's biological functions. Solid sleep reduces fatigue and stress and improves mental clarity. Another way to help improve sleep quality would be to create a nighttime routine to assist with winding down and being more prepared for a restful night of sleep. This can include reducing exposure to highly lit areas 90 minutes before bed and moving to less stimuli, such as less lighting, noises, and so on, prior to bed. Blacking out your room and reducing any noises will help maintain restful sleep as you will not have any external stimuli potentially hindering your ability to reach deep stages of sleep. 2. Nutrition What we eat determines how well we energize and maintain our body's function during the day. Consistency is key here. Consistently poor diets or foods that aggravate you will yield poor results, and the opposite if you're always eating well. One bad meal will not destroy your week, and only one good meal will not make up for the whole week. Strive for 80% of your diet as whole foods weekly. Processed snacks, though small, still count towards this being a less than ideal choice. Maybe try oatmeal and yogurt as breakfast items, or fruit and hard cheeses as snack items. 3. Exercise We all know exercise is essential, but it does not need to be complicated. Going for walks and spending 20 to 30 minutes moving your body is sufficient to get things started. Walk or engage in some form of movement-based activity or exercise for 20 to 30 minutes, two to three times per week. Incorporating resistance training, even with just your body weight, would be ideal to mix in two times per week when combined with low-level aerobic activities, such as walking, biking, or swimming. Consistent exercise will help maintain normal hormone function, maintain strength and lean mass, and increase the body's resilience to stress. And four, stress management. We all lead stressful lives, particularly in the environment we live in today. This can be from technology, news, other people, and so on. Work stress and other factors apply here as well. Increased pressure will slow metabolic functions, age our bodies, and reduce cognitive output. Make a plan in your day and your week that's scheduled for you time. 
This can be a hobby or social gathering that allows your mind to unwind and be in the present moment. It could be reading, hiking, walking, playing golf, playing an instrument, cooking, gardening, talking with friends, or anything that makes you fulfilled and calm. You can take these pillars and see how you score from an overall health standpoint. If you're hitting any one of the areas at 80% consistency throughout the week, give yourself a plus one towards the health scale. If you are below 80%, you would be at status quo, and anything less than 50% would be considered a minus one to your health score. The following is an example of how someone may be graded using a health score. Person A, smokes daily, minus one. Consumes more than five drinks per week, minus one. Exercises daily, plus one. Their diet, 65% adherence, zero. Sleep, 50%, minus one. Stress management by playing golf twice a week, plus one. Overall score, minus one. Compare this to person B. No tobacco use, plus one. Consumes more than five drinks per week, minus one. No exercise, minus one. Diet, 50% adherence, minus one. Sleep, 70% adherence, zero. Stress management, bowling twice a week and gardens daily, plus one. Overall health score, minus one. Compare that to person C. No tobacco use, plus one. Consumes more than five drinks per week, minus one. Exercises four times per week, plus one. Diet, 80% adherence, plus one. Sleep, 60% adherence, zero. Stress management, walks daily, reads, and enjoys cooking, plus one. Overall health score, plus three. You can see how the choices these individuals make determines the outcomes of their health scores. Just because someone exercises daily, which is a positive, they can negate it completely with other behaviors, just as the case was with person A. If you strive to gain a positive by being at least 80% adherent to a pillar per week, you will notice a dramatic difference in your overall health. You just listened to the post titled, An Easy Way to Keep Your Health Consistent by Dr. Pete Donisopoulos of dynamicprri.com. We all have someone who has genuinely impacted our lives for the better. And if you're a business owner, you need to hire the same type of person for your company. Now it's easy to find that perfect employee, thanks to Indeed. Indeed is the hiring platform helping over 3 million businesses worldwide to do it all. Don't spend hours on multiple job sites looking for candidates. Over 80% of Indeed employers find quality candidates the moment they sponsor a job. I especially love Indeed's Instant Match feature because candidates you invite to apply through Instant Match are three times more likely to apply to your job than candidates who only see it in search, according to US Indeed data. Indeed knows that finding people with the right skills makes all the difference when you're a hiring team of one. Visit indeed.com slash health to start hiring now. Just go to indeed.com slash health. Indeed.com slash health. Terms and conditions apply. Cost per application pricing not available for everyone. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. Dr. Donisopoulos said something that's so true. They mentioned that when our lives start to get stressful, we tend to stop performing the behaviors that will help us feel less stressed. Dr. Donisopoulos said that one of the first things we'll sacrifice when we're under stress is our sleep, which is something we don't want to sacrifice in these moments. A while back, at the end of a semester of teaching a stress management class, I asked my students to reflect on the stress management techniques they used and how it made them feel. Their responses broke my heart. Almost every one of them said something like this. I'll be honest. I didn't use any of the techniques we discussed to help me with my stress. Do you want to know their reasons for not using any of the stress management techniques we discussed all semester long, day after day? It was because they were too stressed to use them. I am not making this stuff up. You couldn't make this up. Needless to say, this was a sign to me that I failed them and that I needed to completely redesign my course because the point was missed. 
but it goes back to Dr. Donisopoulos' point, where he mentioned in his post, these healthy behaviors shouldn't be skipped when we're too busy or too stressed, because this is when we need them the most. All right, that'll do it for today. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you back here tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.